Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Julii Let's Play in the original Rome Total War. Now, last time we advanced on all sides towards the Egyptians, um, we, we, we made a ceasefire with them and then they attacked us straight back. Uh, we've been fending off attacks from the Gauls for some time, we took Lamonum. Um, and we eventually got the Marian reform, so we're now building an army, a couple of armies. We're building one big army here to send across to Egypt, which will clean up e the whole of Egypt and the whole of the east. Once that army is done, we might send them north around this way. Um, and then we're sending another army from Carthage down into Namidia. Uh, we have to take this one and then this one over is it it's here isn't it it's probably even quicker to go there to there but then it's going to take forever to get back up um, and then we're going to take that army into iberia where we should hopefully get rid of the uh, carthaginians and the spanish now this army as well is going to go down to uh, to gaul to destroy their last settlement uh, but we've got a couple of battles that we want to do. I think the first one we want to do is this one here. And I'm surprised if they stand and fight this. Surely not. No, they're going to run away. Now we have them trapped. So let's go fight them. It's only 271 men and it's trash. So... Let's get them dealt with. Should only take a charge from the cavalry. Shouldn't even really need the infantry, but we're going to use them anyway. I'm hoping we can get back to Memphis after Victory this. We don't need to listen to the general speech for this one, just because it's such a small battle. Um, group these guys. All uh, fire at will. Uh, now, cavalry. The massive cavalry contingent that we carry around with every single army we have. Um, and then you guys up there. Now, I think the Egyptians have a bonus in desert. Um, so we do need to be a little bit wary, but shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. They are stuck, so they can't escape. So if we defeat this army, we kill them all. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with their cavalry, but we should be able to destroy them easily. Um, and you guys... How tired are you? You are just warmed up, so they're not even tired yet, which is great. That cavalry looks awesome, nicely lined up like that. Just walk you guys the rest of the way. Now, if they want to... Whatever they want to do is fine, I'm not too bothered. Um, this isn't going to be, you know, they're not going to do a huge amount of damage no matter what. So they can they can rearrange their army all they want. They're just still going to get destroyed. Let's come through. I'm surprised the slingers can't can't shoot yet. Are they going to charge? It looks like they are. Oh, they're charging after these guys. Uh, right then, that's fine. Cavalry up over here. Yeah, they're broken already. Like, what do they think they're doing? Look at that terrible. Uh... You two go after that guy. They have killed a few of my men doing that. Not a huge amount though. Kill this desert cavalry. This uh, the Hastati should uh, get rid of those Pharaoh's guard, honestly. Probably lost less more than I wanted actually. But that's fine. The enemy general is dead. Yeah, they killed five percent. That's actually quite a lot. Approaches. Kill all of these guys if you can. Don't need to worry about those cavalry. They're gonna escape, but they shouldn't be able to escape anyway. These guys are kind of dying, so we need to go and help them. Let's go fight these. They're shaken already, so as soon as they get touched, I'm sure they will die. Yeah, there we are. Awesome. Hoping they don't put their, their pikes down again while they're routing, because they've done that a few times, which has kind of screwed us over. There we are. Awesome. That's everything. They still killed 95. Mm, that's kind of poor for me, but 
We got rid of them anyway. I'm wondering if we go attack these guys. We won't be able to make it back. I mean, they can't move this turn, so... I think we will just take refuge in there, just, just in case. Um, bring all the cavalry through. Now, if they want to attack this army, that's fine. We've got all our cavalry. It should be able to move quickly onto the battlefield. Uh, now, the other battle we want to do is here. At Tarsus. I am annoyed that it's, it's Amuleus rather than Lentilus Gracchus or whatever his name is. No, Quintus Ahenobarbus. Sorry. <laughs> Completely wrong. Um, do we need to keep recruiting these guys? No. Good. Uh, cool. Yeah. So, Amuleus. Uh, it's annoying we've got stuck there, honestly. I was thinking the... Uh, Egyptians would stand and fight that, seeing as they have chariots. Although the rest of their army is pure trash. Uh, if they want to come and attack me here, they can do. Like I will welcome that. I need to attack this guy. Has this guy got... No, he hasn't got uh, any uh, siege equipment yet. Honestly, we could wait until they attack that. I'm, I, I'm willing to go and stand my army here and see whether anyone attacks me. Because if they attack the settlement, they will lose a lot of their troops. They've got some hoplites. They've got two generals bodyguard. Looks like the AI will probably, you know, punish them a little bit. Because it's a city battle with hoplites and generals bodyguards. They're going to punish them. So that's fine. But let's end the turn here. I can't believe the Skippy Eye. The Skippy Eye are just so unbelievably confused. <laughs> they have no idea what they're doing. Like, surely you can take that. It's not even got many troops in it. But they're just really confused by what to do. Okay, Tiberius, where are you? Your understanding of tactics. Pawn of the Gods, though. Um, right. Well, you're going to be a governor of one of these places. Attack. Hmm. Who do they have inside Tarsus? Oh, no. It's all chariots and stuff. I think... Hmm. kind of want to get rid of that Egyptian army first. But... Might not be able to. Oh, the Egyptians escaped up here. Right, how, what's your 57% chance? You got it. I don't know what the chances to open the gate. Oh, they are open. Right, so that's two battles we've got to do then. Okay, so it's just basically peasants. There's two generals bodyguards, which is obviously not ideal. We'll send everyone back in here, apart from these guys. Uh, although we should merge now. If we can. Because obviously we don't have um, the ability uh, to retrain these guys anymore. Trait increase. Oh, that's the, the agent. Uh, Limonum. End of turn report. Yeah. Anywhere down here where we can recruit the... Ar yeah, we're recruiting the archers. Maybe another unit until we've got that so we can do the um, legionary cavalry. Um, Thapsus was still recruiting the Roman cavalry, which is fine. Um, and then we want to recruit four of those guys, and hopefully that's the amount of time it will take to recruit all these, <laughs> all these uh, Praetorian cohorts. So let's go with the construction first, and then we'll have a look at the battles. So Suggesta, I mean, just do that because it doesn't matter anymore. Carolus, obviously you're doing the same thing. Suggestica, doing the same thing. Serta, cool, we just upgraded. Um, let's get highways so we can walk around this area a bit quicker. Thermon, what do we want to do? Hmm. I think we get that just to keep the... Uh, if Just in case, if the uh, public order goes too low, we can just turn on games everywhere. Uh, and now, while we're at Thapsus, we want the armour as well. Larissa... I think we go with the dockyard for Larissa. Uh, Kydonia, yeah, you're just 
building everything. Sardis. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Diplomatic information. Everyone's at war with the Seleucids because of us. That's fine. Now, this battle's going to be a lot harder than the other one. We do have archers though. Now that's the one good thing. They are they have only got wooden walls there as well. They've got wooden walls in both of them, so it should be kind of easy to deal with. We just stick the uh, hoplites at the front and then follow up with our archers and then the principes. So, let's go for that. I go for the easier one first and then we'll see whether we've got time for the harder one. Uh, this guy is a very good commander as well. Which generally you don't see with the AI too much. And they have experience units, but they're trash. So, Although that general's bodyguard unit is going to be so tough. Like, look at that. 24 defense, 11 armor. Ooh. Probably going to have to throw a load of peeler at them then. He could, he could shred some of our troops. Like that 20, 24 armor or whatever it was. 11, 11 armor, 24 defense is brutal. Let's listen to the general speech as well, because obviously this is the Seleucids, so the different person. Gone, grim and terrible, but how much more terrible to be facing Romans such as us? Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foe. There stand the warriors of Seleucia. They are right to be proud, for they are worthy foes. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. An eagle circled the camp three wow. times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. Oh, he's bloody as well. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all. Awesome. Um, so, gates are open, but why would we just go from one direction? Let's go from two. Uh, we'll have one general in command of each one each sort of wing and we'll have archers and all that jazz um, go with these two sets of archers here how much is that uh, obviously cavalry as well but I don't think cavalry are really gonna play a role in this battle so um, let's just group all these guys and ungroup them okay so it's basically the bottom group that side Ooh, we do want the uh, we do want the hoplites though to go with the archers. Why don't we get the hoplites this side and both these uh, missile units this side as well? Although, yeah, here's a good place to put the here's a good place to put the hoplites and then fire at them. So yeah, it's definitely worth doing that. Um, and then we'll send the horse archers over here March. and you guys in a group with the general and these cavalry so obviously we want you to come and fire at these guys uh, these units can move forward like they have no tower they have the, the base the most basic walls they have no towers next to anything which is really good for us. <laughs> I'd like you to run, honestly. Bring the cavalry forward, but they ain't going to be much of a much of a help. You guys can move forward as well. You've just got to be careful when you do it. When you're splitting your army like this, you just got to make sure that you can see everything that's happening. These guys firing. Uh, who would you want to fire at? I think we fire at the militia hoplites now if you can. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time. Put you in guard mode so you won't this place. carry on chasing after them. Just fire at will. Um, right. 
you. Oh, oh, oh. Are they peasants? Yeah, what are they going to do? They're not going to do anything. Um, I don't think we put these guys on fire at will yet. Try and just bring them in. Uh, are these peasants like highly experienced? No, we should absolutely shred them. See if you can go and attack them, honestly. We'll bring the equites in this way, and if they want to try and flank us, we'll be able to deal with them. Fire at these guys. How did we lose troops to that? These peasants should be dying, come on. Yeah, there we are. Excellent. Right, you. Move you up to here. We just need to be really wary of those those general's bodyguards. Although, we do have the upgraded bodyguard. Oh, we have more defense than them. Same amount of armor. I guess it's defense skill or shield. But yeah, they had more attack. So, they're still very strong. And he has like 41 of each of the units. Right, you two guys, we want to come to here. These Prinkapes, is it these Prinkapes? Are they the... yeah. They look like the prevailing units for here. Cool. Now Hoplites, if we can, we want to get over there. I don't think we're going to be able to though. Uh, now, the other units over this side, what do we want to do? I mean, we just keep them busy, because what are they going to do? If we... See whether we can run into here without them getting chewed up. I don't think we'll be able to, but it's worth trying. What's that? Mercenary Peltests. Well, let's get our general in on that. Cool. Like, what even is this way? Yeah, there's nothing this way. They're building... Ah, they're building something. So we missed out on a building, but that shouldn't worry. That should be too much of a worry. Ah, uh, no, these guys did run through the hoplites. <laughs> not great. Uh, let's not go for this guy. Let's just charge this. I'm sure we'll be able to break it if we just charge it. And then we want to just set up here, and that will hopefully keep their attention this way as well as this way. And we can just send our sort of, uh, what do you call them, slingers and stuff into here. I want you to run. And then in these Prinker Bays, I want you guys to run as well. Because if they charge with their general, we can fire our healer into them. And it's not too much of a worry dying to... Um, killing our own mercenary units to Pila. These guys done? looks like it. Not done a very good job though. I want you to come up here, maybe take some attention off these guys while we uh, sprint through to the right place. There, awesome. Don't uh, do that. Yeah, all the uh, all the Prinkapes coming. Awesome, that's great. Um, let's see if we can get General here. I don't want them to run their General this way, so let's see if we can get out of there. Our General out the side, so if they charge, they won't be able to do a full-on charge straight at our General. Um, like they normally would, because the scripting inside the cities is, is terrible, as we've talked about a lot. Oh my god, what is going on? Why are we doing that? Why are you running like that? That's crazy. Don't do that. Just go there. I'm hoping they will charge us with their general's bodyguard. Um, fire. You go here so you can fire at, them, fire at them. Oh yes, they are doing it. Let's get all these Prinkapays on fire at will. Okay, they're, they're running away. Although, that now that wasn't the general's bodyguard running away. I don't want you guys to, to charge in, though. 
no, 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 no. Come out here, come out here. Just want you to be firing your peeler. That poor hopper taser is going to get absolutely shredded, but <laughs> doesn't matter too much. Now, if we can, we'll apply, apply pressure on this side. So, you guys, cavalry wise, let's see whether we can charge this side because they've got nothing else. They've got no hop potatoes or anything in here now. Uh, right, let's get all the prink bays in on this. This is, yeah, we're going to have to charge them from behind, I think, to really uh, make an impact because their generals are just so tough right now. They're going to fire those peeler though. That should make a big difference. You guys come here. If we can, we'll bring our rest of the Prinker Bays up this way. Let's charge these guys in the back. Don't worry about the uh, people in the middle. Let's charge these guys in the back if we can. Yeah, they're fully surrounded now. Where's my general? Because I don't want him to die. They're fully surrounded. Like, they can't do anything. Not efficient having the slingers and the Cretan archers in here, but I'd rather not try and get them to escape right now with the, uh, the pathfinding inside the cities. It's kind of terrible. Ooh, these guys have attacked the peasants, is that it? Yeah, they should absolutely demolish them. If they don't, it's kind of embarrassing, but then again, they might not. Kill one of their generals, good. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving That's all their generals deaded. Well then, let's get all these guys kill these peasants. Uh you don't fire. You just walk. You stop firing as well. Because, yeah, we don't want to get any more friendly fire than we can. How many have we lost then? 21%. Not too bad. Mainly uh, Prinker Bays, mainly that unit of Hobbit Days, which is understandable why they all died. <laughs> they were fighting against a pretty tough General's Bodyguard unit with gold experience, so. The enemy army is in. Yeah, let's end that battle. Awesome. So we did kill double what, uh, what they did, so it wasn't too bad, but. Always tough when you've got such a tough General's Bodyguard unit there. Alright, Hatcher is taken. It's a large town. We can afford to enslave it, I think. It gets a more retinue body slave for Lentilus Gracchus. Dionysus? No, thank you. Let's go Jupiter. Recruit a peasant here. Actually, let's recruit an auxilia instead of a peasant as the as the bodyguard here, just in case the Parthians or the Armenians decide to have a go. See, the Armenians have an army here. Right, let's see what we can do about this one. Right, what is it? Hmm, it's a lot of pikes and stuff like that. They might actually decide to attack us. Maybe, I don't know. See what uh, the Egyptians have down here. Just keep bringing the spies through. Got a lot of armies, the Egyptians. Hmm. Why is Athens so upset? Just get one more of those. I'm sure that will fix it. Okay, keep building the army up here. How are we looking down here for recruitment? Good, 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 good. Right, you guys. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to get there, but we have to do it. Let's get the watchtower in there. Oh no! Attack that guy. Get the get the uh, mercenaries if we can. Is that the is that the faction leader? No, they still have more than one uh, one general then. Your service. Well, I suppose we'll see now. Is it the one in here? Yeah, that's the faction leader. Maybe they have three, but we'll, we'll need to get to Numantia then. Otherwise, we're otherwise we're not going to destroy them just by killing their generals. Uh, we're getting archers here. Wanted to go for early legionary cohorts, I suppose so. 
that's all we're gonna have unless we can maybe recruit some more here let me recruit some roman cavalry from Medinolania to send up right hmm i really just don't want to do that battle because i know a lot of our troops are going to die and we kind of need to conserve troops right now because we can't recruit any more and what we what we can recruit is not good around here like we can get early legionaries here but that's so far away we need enough from this to take probably antioch and recruit some more from there so i think we will just end the turn and see what happens if someone attacks us uh, we'll do the battle if not we'll probably just have a look at our stats and then we'll save that battle for uh, next turn next uh, episode so parthia wants trade rights normally they attack after giving you trade rights so i'm not too <laughs> i'm not too optimistic about it we'll get the map information oh god they've got the uh, settlement right at the top writing at lepsis magna wow I'll do that I don't know why they're so upset. Probably because of the culture penalty. Alexandria is besieged again. Who's this army? Not great. I mean, if we destroy... Oh, they've got this guy as well. Oh, no. Nah, nah, it's not even better. they got a couple of good units. The rest of it's pretty trash. So, I think... Hmm probably attack them next episode and we'll probably look to go straight to memphis and hopefully draw them into memphis and probably just siege down memphis honestly looking at what they've got in they've got a lot of archers which are the good archers and they've got the pharaoh's guard which we don't really want to deal with head on though we do have praetorians now which you know that's always good uh praetorians yeah cool right palmer Yep, you're building Corinth. What do we want to do, Corinth? I think we build the arenas everywhere we can now, just in case the public order starts going down with that population growth. Um, let's get the communal farming. Pergamum. Oh, Pergamum can expand. We didn't get a notification about that, but fine. Elysia. Did we just get the blacksmith? I think we did. So... Everyone should be able to be retrained. Uh, generals probably more important than those guys. Let's get the uh, forum. Because that will allow us to build the full armor when we get to huge city anyway. Uh, Mazika. Let's go with the walls. Just in case Armenia decides to attack. Um, and then... Ooh, we could get that so we can start getting some Praetorians. Hmm... I think it's more important to get population, uh, public order around here right now. Alexandria. Yeah, we got we got that so we could get Archer Auxilia. So let's get that to get um, Legionary Cavalry. Although, hmm, yeah, we've already got a couple of temples in there, so they shouldn't be too unhappy when we leave. Let's go with that, and we got the Auxilia, didn't we? Can we move from here then? Because we probably want to go for Palmyra. Unless they just... If they're content with just attacking us and we demolishing their armies, like, I'm happy with that. Um, but obviously that's not ideal. So, let's... Let's leave. We don't need to be here anymore. Hmm. Yep, that's sorted out. Right, where do we want to go for then? I mean, Palmyra's on the edge, but it's not exactly a great town. But we should go from Tarsus to Antioch, so... Then we need a recruitment base as early as possible, so it's not too bad. Hmm. I'm kind of stuck by that army. I, I think we're probably going to get attacked by three armies now. But it's on a bridge, so if they want to attack us with three armies, that's actually no worries at all. So what are they going to do when it's a bridge battle? Cool. Awesome. Uh, now, down here, we, we're going to sally out from that at some point. Hmm. Yeah, all looking good. Is this guy moving? They've got a fort there. 
Is he the Factionaire? Well, if he's not the Factionaire, I don't care. So, let's go here. Might slow us down, but we can kill uh, a load of their troops again. Now, Spain might even come and end this before us. So, if they do that, honestly, that would be really helpful. I'd be kind of happy. Yep, you're recruiting more of those. Awesome. How are we doing with the recruitment down here? Three. Four. Five. Got these guys. The plague's gone now, which is good. We'll be able to recruit legionary cavalry in a turn here as well, which is awesome. Uh, better than this Roman cavalry, which is sending up north. Now, let's have just have a look at our faction rankings. See how we're doing versus everyone else. Top five. So the Brutii is still and the Scipii is still doing okay. The Scipii have no territory, but they're just building up their money and their troops. Egypt's kind of flatlined. Let's have a look at um, military ranking. We're still lower than the Brutii. We've got higher now, but that's because of the, all those armies we've just started recruiting. Still higher than Egypt, but obviously our troops are a lot more spread out. So, they have a higher concentration of troops in that area. We just need to, you know, get rid of them one by one. Um, wow, our production is huge compared to everyone else. Territory, not a huge amount for what, what year we're in, but it's fine. Uh, a lot better than everyone else. Uh, financials, look, the Brutii have started going down. I wonder why that is. Ooh, they've gone up to Scythia now. Is that their one expansion route that they wanted to go to? Our population is massive compared to everyone else, and overall, obviously. Is that their one expansion route? <laughs> Where's their army gone from here, though? They don't even have their army anymore. Has this guy got the army? No, no, those ships don't have the army. That's weird. Maybe they, uh, maybe they bribed the Scythians for it, or paid for it, or something. I can't... Why are they not going after Bylazora, like... I just can't see why not. They've got three full stack armies there. Right, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode today, guys. I know not as many battles as you may have wanted, but next episode, we probably will have two. We'll have the battle at Tarsus, and it's very likely when I end the turn now that this is going to be a huge river battle. Um, it'd be nice to have some hoplites in here, honestly. We have three, <laughs> but obviously that's, that's not a huge amount. Um, but... I mean, bridge battles are generally pretty easy, like pretty sound. They'll they'll just charge all their army across, and we'll just stand in guard formation and kill them. Hopefully, that's the idea. I don't know whether that will work against the whole three armies, but you know, it, they're certainly going to take a lot more losses than us. We'll also um, sally out from Alexandria if we can, destroy that army, and hopefully move on to Memphis and wait at Memphis. What army do we have here? Like, it's, it's it's okay. It's not brilliant. But we'll probably move on to Memphis. Wait at Memphis. And wait for this army to attack us there. If this army attacks us at Memphis, that's a lot easier for us to deal with than having to do a siege and go through the streets. Um, so, yeah. Definitely worth it. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, these are all large cities, aren't they? So, we're going to have three extra large cities once we've taken these three. Um, we just need to kind of get through Antioch and Sidon. Once we've taken Tarsus and we've, we've hopefully won this battle here, we'll move on to Antioch with these two armies. Take it, and that can be our recruitment hub in this northern area. I honestly think we might have Egypt wrapped up before we even get a chance to roll out one of these armies. If that's the case, we'll send this army north up to the Bretons. Um, and we'll send this Carthaginian army down through Namidia and then into Spain. Hmm, yeah, that should be fine. They're going to have a good uh, good little um, armory here as well. Getting the blacksmith and then we kind of want to get legionary cavalry if we can, although are we getting that here? No. We have the ability to recruit archers here, so that's not too bad. We'll probably go for the hippodrome next then. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe or like or, um, and follow me on Twitch at Red Dog Gaming with two Gs. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you very much. And I shall hopefully see you again on the next video.